If you're anything like me, you're a fan of the HyperDeck devices from Blackmagic Design. And if you're also anything like me, at some point you've hit a brick wall because you can't get a file to play back. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you through a few steps to make sure the video files play back every time. Step one, use recommended media. On the Blackmagic support website, you can see a list of recommended USB-C drives, SD cards, and SSDs that work well with HyperDex. I wouldn't stray too far from this list. It's probably the first question they will ask you if you contact support with any issues. And in theory, all these cards and drives have been tested and should work just fine. Step two, wipe the card in the HyperDeck. Whether you're using an SD card, SSD, or a USB-C drive, the best first step is to take it into the HyperDeck and wipe the storage media through the HyperDeck. I tend to stick with XFAT here just for the compatibility from macOS and Windows. And from there, I wipe the card in the HyperDeck. Now with that fresh card, I can move on and start loading files. Number three, one file at a time. A good step is to only drag one file onto your storage media and start from there. If you find that that file plays back just fine, then you know you're onto a winner. And if it doesn't, then you can troubleshoot that one file or drag on another one instead. All files should match. When you're ready to drag on multiple files, it's really important to check that the codecs, frame rate, and the resolution all match each other across those clips. Now you might find sometimes that you can get away with mixing and matching some of these details, but in general, it's best to stick with the same frame rate, codec, and resolution across all your clips on your storage media. When you load up an SD card, for example, into the HyperDeck, it'll grab the first file, figure out what it is, and then hide any files that don't follow that codec, resolution, or frame rate. Number five, pick a format and stick to it. I tend to run with the following codec and frame rate for every project I do so that I can have consistency of media playback. So I use ProRes LT, 1080p resolution, and 50 frames a second. Now other projects do pop up and I stray from that sometimes, but it is good to have that baseline and something to start with. Then when you're rendering out files or worse, the client's giving you lots of files from different places, you can stipulate and tell them what you want and what you expect from them. Number six, watch out for record modes. A strange issue that has popped up recently is that the record mode may have an impact on the playback mode, so it's something good to know. In general, I recommend changing the record mode to whatever you chose earlier to be your playback mode. So for me, it would be that ProRes LT. Though if a client handed me a bunch of ProRes HQ files, then I'd probably change that record mode and keep it that way instead. Now this specific issue may have been just an edge case or a strange firmware version, but it was something that I was able to see, troubleshoot, overcome, and then go from there. Number seven, use a known export setup every time. If you're gathering files from all over the place or you're getting them from different clients, it's a really good idea to run them all through an encode pass just so that they're the same format, resolution, and codec. You can use all sorts of tools for this. In the past, I've used plenty of them, but these days I stick with Apple Compressor and I have a setup in there that I use every time. This custom setting, HyperDeck ProRes LT 1080p 50 is the one I use. I run all my files through it and then I know what I'm getting on the other side. It is worth this extra step. It can take a little bit of time. Maybe if the deadline's tight, it's a bit harder, but if you have the time, it's totally worth it. Number eight, record on the device. If all else fails, the absolute best way to make sure a file plays back on a HyperDeck is to record it on that same HyperDeck. For this, I export out my video maybe, make it full screen, and then capture that back into the HyperDeck, pressing record and play at the same time. Now, of course, the length of the video dictates how long this is gonna take because it is a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, it's not the best experience if it's a long video or if the show's coming very soon and you don't have time, but it is the best way to make sure the file plays back every single time. All right, those are my top troubleshooting steps. I'm sure there's other ways that you use to make sure the files play back like this. I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Just let me know if I missed anything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.